Take a look around our classroom. There's a lot of students from different backgrounds all coming to one diverse school. Now, what court case do you think that made this possible? Many people think that it's Brown versus Board of Education that desegregated all schools. But in California, integrated schools were made possible by a court case that happened nine years prior, which is known as Mendez versus Westminster. While Brown v. Board of Education is a widely known landmark Supreme Court case, few can trace its origin to the case of nine-year-old Sylvia Mendez in Mendez v. Westminster. Mendez v. Westminster happened in 1947 and became a federal court case that challenged Mexican remedial schools in Orange County, California. The trial started because when Sylvia Mendez's aunt went into enroll, her and her cousins, her cousins who had pale skin, and French sounding noises were accepted, but Menes and her siblings, who had Mexican sounding names, were rejected. When her aunt informed her father his response to his children being rejected, Mr. Mendez went to the school and then the superintendent and found out Mexican slash Latino children were being sent to separate schools and he became furious. Five Mexican American fathers challenged the practice of Mexican school segregation in the United States District Court of Central District. California and Los Angeles. And decided to hire David Marcus, who had previously just won a case to stop the no Mexican allowed in parks and pools. The school districts appealed the case to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. The Court of Appeals affirmed Judge McCormick's ruling. Two months later, California's governor, Earl Warren, signed a bill ending school segregation in California, making it the first case to officially desegregate its public schools. Marshall used some of the same arguments from Mendez to win Brown versus Board of Education. Thurgood Marshall was a lawyer that represented Sylvia Mendez, as well as helped in the Brown versus Board of Education. American children, Thurgood Marshall, also argued against black school segregation in Brown case. Before the U.S. Supreme Court ruled racial segregation in public institutions unconstitutional in Brown versus Board of Education, Mendez versus Westminster helped in racist policies in California school district. If it wasn't for this case, School would have been very much segregated, maybe even to this day, causing many of us minorities to be receiving the same education as everyone else in the U.S. Due to the fact that we would be overlooked and receive far less education, and due to this case, many more came across the U.S., sparking a nationwide event that helped to segregate schools.